Hi, I would like to introduce you to a Joomla component called Component Builder. It is a component that was developed primarily for upcoming developers who wants to develop components for the Joomla interface using the Joomla API as much as possible. By that saying that they want to stay within the guidelines of the module view controller methods that Joomla by default set forth. It saves you a lot of time. It has really some very smart and advanced features which you only would re really get to know if you're able to, to scan the code and go through the actual uh, compiler which we'll look at later in which it takes all the input from the UI and compiles it into a component. So having said that, this component builder isn't ideal for someone who doesn't know PHP, who doesn't know how Joomla's API works. They would be able to use it, but very limitedly. If you really want to get the most out of the component builder, you must invest time in studying PHP advanced object orientation and Joomla API infrastructure which can be found on Joomla.org. Now starting off in Component Builder there's a few basic things to keep in mind. One of it is that it ideally functions in a offline development environment which we call a sandbox. This is the best place to run it and it's from this environment that we will be able to do many uh, things. For example, upon compiling of your component, you'll be able to store it in a Git repository. You'll be able to push it to a sales server. You're also able to set an update server, which it will dynamically update on compilation through the FTP settings that the application is able to uh, use. Um, we are planning to continually improve this application with each new component that we ourselves build. As of today, we already have built very advanced components uh, and some of those components we will ship with the application to those who have purchased the more advanced uh, version. Um, we have built a learning managing system which is used for a small institution to manage their students, do exams, mark the exams and produce a record uh, or a scorecard which can be translated into certificates and diplomas. So it's just having said that, I hope you realize it's a very advanced component. In fact, it is at the moment the biggest one that we've done. Um, we also have Component Builder itself inside of itself, which is quite amazing. You see, once I started building this application, I was really working towards the objective of making it possible that it can build itself. Now, it doesn't really build the compiler. That is just included. So the component builder has the feature of including files and folders and so forth. But it does build everything else, everything that it is required according to uh, the views and the the, the fields and everything, <laughs> buttons, everything in the back end in of the component builder is built through the component builder itself. Um, 
for the more advanced system we will also include this which means that you can very easily improve component builder by adding new fields to certain views and including it um, in its compilation then we've also built a cost benefit projection tool which is available on github um, to see the complexity what this project really does is uh, taking your staff of a certain company and working out the cost that uh, is incurred through health risks uh, and how the company can intervene through certain interventions in uh, reducing this expense. Uh, it's also quite advanced component, not as much as I would say learning manager, but it has some, some real good graphics in regards to the tables and charts and how it displays the result sets very nice component also built through component builder then we have a plain uh, demo component which also is on github um, and we will add those links on the display page of this component then we have the sermon distributor which also is a very uh, smart component um, it's also an open source on github available um, in fact, I think I'll use this component for our illustration through the demonstration of the component builder. And then we have get Pible, which is a component that really displays the Bible um, in, an, in a very easy manner. All these components, as you can see, without uh, taking the demo one in consideration, is quite complex and advanced, which I hope would already set the tone for the expectation that this application isn't just your normal component builder. It surely is an advanced component builder that in enables you to do very advanced concepts especially in regards to the front end of the component since that is where we expected most diversity to exist and we made most uh, effort to to improve the front end's um, manner of design so that you have freedom to to really express yourself in the way that is uh, that is needed well, this could serve as an introduction to Component Builder. Um, when installing Component Builder, uh, there would be the necessity of opening options and going through all the settings and making sure that they are correct. And since there are settings in relation to folder structures, all these we'll go through in the next video. So thank you for watching.